All right, welcome into House Call with Jerry and Terry. Sky, how loud are you going to be? <laughs> loud enough, baby. All right, so this year, Jerry, its yep. I'll be honest, I'm a little jealous of you. That's why, why I kind of started this show. Why? You're the touchdown guy. Yes. Like, you have Ray Ray, what was the guy? Ray Ray, Ray McLeod. Ray McLeod. Deontay Fucking Johnson. Deontay Johnson. You always have those guys. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a little jealous. Uh, I wanted to kind of pick your brain and get this going. The big initiative this year, touchdown scores left and right. 100%. I'm going to be betting touchdown scores left and right. So we'll get the people going. We're going to have a voicemail set up. Fasoli's working on that. Uh, I think the plan is if you're the one caller a week, we're going to take the one voicemail picked at random. Not today, though. Not today, but you stay, you stay, you move on. We'll cook you into the parlay. Give them a better explanation. You're not explaining, Rico. Here's how it's going to work. This is house call with with Jerry and Terry, right? Rico and me every week are going to have a two-leg parlay together. Plus the caller. For week one, it's going to be different. It's just going to be me. Just the two. Just the two of us. After week one, it's going to be me. Terry and a caller in a three way, three way sounds kind of weird. Oh, I love that. In a dog. three leg, <laughs> three way, three, th- all right, fine, three way <laughs> touchdown parlay. So I'll take Xavier Worthy, Rico will take James Cook, and then the caller will take Devontae Smith. That's our three leg parlay. If you hit it and you're the caller, you stay on next week. Aside from that, we're also going to each, we're going to go through every game. We'll say who we like in every game, but our main picks are going to be that, that parlay. Plus Thursday night, Thursday night, Sunday, Sunday night, and Monday, Monday night. night. Exactly. We're going to touch on the Giants and the Steelers. Those exactly. are the five games a week. Exactly. We don't want to jump on advisors, but we want to go into the touchdowns. Exactly. So, all right. So let's jump into Thursday night. Let's take a break from House Cold to tell you about our friends at DraftKings. TD, Tutty, taking it to the house, in for six, whatever you call a touchdown. One thing's for sure, touchdowns matter more at the DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. On the ground, in the air, for special teams or defense, we don't care how they score them. We want to bet on touchdowns. And DraftKings Sportsbook is the number one place to bet on touchdowns. Ready to place your first NFL bet? Try betting on something simple like a player to score a touchdown. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app and make your bet today. Ready to do a touchdown dance of your own new DraftKings customers? Bet $5 and get $250 in bonus bets instantly and get one month of NFL Plus Premium. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code HOUSE. That's code HOUSE for new customers to get $250 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks and get one month of NFL Plus Premium. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. Back to the show. Okay, we'll give some stats for different things. Uh, you got the Chiefs and the Ravens. Okay. At the Chiefs, it's the Super Bowl host. Yep. It's always what it is. Hollywood Brown ruled out. Yeah, that's the little guy. They just got him from the Cardinals. Hollywood Brown. I think so. Am I right on that? You should be. Yeah. They even came from the Cardinals. Yeah, he yeah. came from the Cardinals. Yeah, wait, Hollywood Brown. Wait, no, did, no, no, no. Did he? My memory's froggy. It's week one. Hollywood Brown is out. So we'll get to that or who I like. No, the that. Zay Flowers they had on the Ravens. They got Hollywood Brown. Right. No, yeah. Hollywood Brown's on the Chiefs. Yes, that's right. Hollywood that's Brown's right. on the that's Chiefs. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Jerry, right. You got to catch. I mean, Listen, I know that. Listen, I, 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 the offseason was crazy. All right. Hollywood Brown's out. So we'll get to who I like for that. But there's some stats here. Lamar Jackson plus 235. The Chiefs allowed six rushing Wait, touchdowns. Wait, time out. Take a T. Hold on. Take right. a T here. Hollywood Brown is on the Chiefs? Hollywood Brown. Is that a fact? <laughs> All right. I thought he was on the Ravens. You Who's, got me double checking. No, you know why? That's Lamar's cousin, isn't it? I don't know. I think that's Lamar's coming. Doug, can you fact check that? <laughs> fact check Hollywood Brown, Lamar's Hollywood cousin. Hollywood Brown is out on the Chiefs. I know he's on the Chiefs. Fair, but I got a connection with Lamar, Lamar and Lamar Hollywood. Lamar and Hollywood, okay. I think they're cousins. Okay. Maybe that's where I'm coming up with it. Doug? I just see. Does he just call him a cousin? <laughs> Is it one of those things? Maybe. Cuz? Maybe. I mean, they're probably both cause. from Florida. I don't think it's just yeah. All cousin. right, so I'm going to give you three stats. You can kind of pass or play, cool. and then you can give your pick on this game. Lamar Jackson, plus 235. Chiefs have allowed six rushing touchdowns to quarterbacks in 2023, 21 games. Jalen Hurts scored two. Josh Allen scored one. Uh, Jake Browning. Hurts and Allen both have two, had a two, DD, two TD game. Mm. So the Chiefs allow rushing, scrambling for a quarterback. Yeah. Isaiah Pacheco, minus 105. Scored a TD in Baltimore in the conference championship last year. Baltimore allowed seven TDs to running backs in 2023 uh, regular season. The only backfield competition is Samaj P. Ryan, who signed with the team last week, Garbage and rookie can. Carson Tra- Steele. Traffic cone. Carson I think Steele, Pache- we don't know about. And Pacheco yet. runs harder than anybody in he the does. league. He does. He uh, does. Patrick Mahomes, plus 350. Not a lot of running back depth without you know Pacheco. Could he scramble inside the ten? He's those a scrambler. Are the, he runs. Those are the three worth taking a look at for the for the game. Who was your play in the Thursday night game? Because I love this guy. I've been eyeing this for a week. I'm gonna go with. See, I, I want to pick Xavier Worthy, but I just don't know enough Do about it. him. Do it. 
He's the fastest guy. You know the Chiefs. Hollywood Brown's out. You know the Chiefs have some weird play. Fuck it. I'm going, for, I'm going for the throat week one. Give me Pat Mahomes plus 350. Pat Mahomes plus 350 That's in this my game. one single pick. That All right. Game. I'm taking Isaiah Worthy plus the 180. It's Xavier Worthy. What did I say? Isaiah. Xavier. We're off to a hot Xavier, start. Xavier Worthy. Yeah. You got me with Isaiah Pacheco. That's why I looked at Isaiah Pacheco. Xavier Worthy yeah. plus the 180. That's the way I'm playing that. So you're taking Mahomes yep. with the scrambling. And All right. we're also going to do this as we follow keep along. Keep the standings. We're going to keep the standings as far as, hey, Jerry's up two units. Yep. Every unit will go. We'll do 100 uh, bucks. Yeah, 100 Every unit, and that'll be it. That we'll works. see who's winning at the end of the All year. All right. Uh, Maybe winner gets a nice dinner. Or yeah. you know what? Maybe dinner gets a Rolex watch. The winner. <laughs> I, I could do with the dinner. I could do with the dinner. I'm not in your uh, pay grade yet. I could do with the oh, dinner. Oh, Doug has something. Hold on. Take a seat. What do you got, Doug? Marquise Brown, cousins with Antonio Brown. They're brown. The two browns are cousins? <laughs> and you're trying to tell me it's fucking... Get I fucked here. up. Get I lost. fucked up. You're, you're, you're <laughs> struggling. I might have said Isaiah fucking this is a long off worthy, season. but... Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to lean on you for this game. We're always going to do the Steelers, and we're going to do the Giants. Okay. okay. Pittsburgh. But at- these, these don't count as our record. No. The, what we're no, doing now. this is just a lean. But that did. The last, that one, we last did. one did. Thursday okay. night, Sunday. You know what? You're right. Let's do Sunday night football. Yeah, let's, let's do keep that it that order. way. Yeah. Keep it that way. All right. Sam Laporta plus 135. Scored a TD against LA in uh, the playoffs last season. Scored a TD in six of eight home games in 2023. Nine of his 10 TDs were at home in 2023. He's my play. I like Laporta. tight ends. Laporta. I'm playing Laporta plus the 135. Kyron Williams minus 115. Scored 15 TDs in 12 games last season. Touched the ball 22 times in a game in 2023. Ignore the concerns about Blake Porta, uh, Blake Corum, punt returns, and whatever else. He is still the bell cow for this team. Yep. Matt, uh, McVay has always leaned on his lead back to dominate the touches in the backfield. Bonus to take a look at. Cooper Cup plus 135. Puka Nakua plus 145. That's my pick. Who? Puka. Okay. I think Detroit got absolutely again. torched by opposing wide receivers in yep. 2023. Three, 13 TDs in 20 games. TD in 12 of 20 games. The 13 TDs in 20 games, but allowed 12 TDs in, 12, in 20. 12 TDs in... Spit it out, Terry. 13 TDs Fucking overall, going so fast. Take your time. in 20 games. People want to follow. 12 in 12 games of the 20 games. Allowed a TD to opposing wide receiver ones in six straight games to end 2023. Okay. Allowed 11 TDs in the final 12 games. Puka scored the long TD in their playoff game last season. Yes, that's right. He did. Yep. So Puka is the play. Plus I like 45. That's what you're you doing. And I'm doing Laporta. Sam Laporta. Laporta plus 135. All right. Monday Night Football. Jets against San Fran at San Fran. Garrett Wilson. Great game, by the way. Great game, as long as Rodgers stays healthy. I think he's going to be okay. Garrett Wilson plus 145. Wilson score anywhere on the field, but Rodgers will be locked in for him anywhere else. They are in the red zone. Uh, with Rodgers, Devontae Adams had seven TDs in five regular season games against the Niners, and he scored in all five games. No serious target competition other than Wilson. Niners allowed... They're opposing wide receiver ones to score in seven of their last 11 regular season games not good. in 2023. That's kind of impress- impressive with the fact that – not impressive, but like an impressive stat. You think San Fran oh, is a great oh, defense. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're actually no, torturing sure. you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Debo Samuel, plus 145. San Fran's second best TD threat when healthy. Debo can score through the air and on the ground. 12 total TDs last season. Seven receiving, five rushing, 31 over the past three seasons. And then this will be my play. Mm-hmm. What do you like? I'm going to go twice as nice. Christian McCaffrey plus 350. The Jets. Wait, you're doing two touchdowns? Two touchdowns plus the 350. So that you, we could do that. We're you could do that. that? Yeah, right, 100%. Fair, fair. As long as it's a touchdown score within it. Okay. You know, I you mean, could, you're getting greedy. I mean, off the bat. Well, minus 165 is, is yeah. I don't want to give out the minus in week one. The Jets allowed two TDs to running backs five times in 2023, 15 total t- uh, touchdowns to starting running backs in 2023. I'll tell you, I'll tell you I one guy. I could see they love working McCaffrey yeah, early no, in the course. season. I could see it. We're going McCaffrey for two. Plus 350. I'll tell you one thing. A guy that will never be my Deontay Johnson. I will never bet him to score a touchdown no matter what. Brandon Ayuk. Ayuk, if you're listening to this show, house call with Jerry and Terry, you're a fraud. You're a scumbag. He fixed it, though. He fixed all the problems. You you got a problem with guys holding out? I got a problem with guys saying they're interested going to the Steelers and they don't go. (laughs) You're a scumbag. I was waiting for the shoe to drop. You're you're a fraud. And I hope you're healthy throughout the year. I really do. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything okay. else. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna say anything else. I hope you stay healthy. All right. You're I forgot. A lot of I'm waiting. Time. I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. I'm like, why is he so worked up about this? He, he was supposed a, to be a stealer. I mean, just a great play from him and his agent. I will say that. What they did, you know, what they did. They got all these offers. So, so they eliminated in negotiating with San Fran. 
They got all these offers together to see what he can be paid. I think the Browns or the Patriots offered him like thirty-two million a year. He ended up signing for thirty million. I really don't think he wanted to go anywhere, but used all that as leverage. He's back with the Niners. Anyway, my play for this game, very simple. I know Niners, good defense, good linebackers, really fucking good D line. I think there's a guy on the field that's electric, and his name is Brees Hall. I think he's really fucking good. I do think they're going to use him at the goal line if they get down there. He has the ability to break one for a long one. He's got the speed, uh, catches passes out of the backfield. I like him this week to score against the Niners. Okay. What are his odds? Does it say there? Uh, I can find it. Let's find it real quick. So so uh, Jetski has everything. Oh, here it is. Brees Hall, plus 125. Anytime plus 125. Touchdown. Anytime okay. touchdown score. That's my pick. For the Monday night game. Yeah, the Monday night game. All yep. right, so that's what keep those standings and keep it going. Yep. Now let's touch on our two teams. Pittsburgh at Atlanta. Yep. I'm going to be honest with you. These don't count. No. But you give a lean and we'll yeah, get some yeah. stats and, and get people excited about the touchdowns. I love the Falcons this year. I think they're going to be good. I absolutely love the they're Falcons good. this Great year. They're good. Great defense. Good D-line. Kyle Pitts plus 195. Cousins and Pitts were training camp roommates. Steelers allowed a TD to tight ends in five of the last seven games to end 2023. Kirk Cousins targeted tight ends on 27% of his throws in 2023. Can I tell you something real quick? Fifth highest mark. Can I tell league. you something real quick? Sure. The reason why that was, the Steelers had no linebackers towards the end of the year. They were all hurt. That's all I'm saying. Okay. No so linebackers. changes now when you're healthy. Yes. No, they had no linebackers right. and no safety. They also haven't there. found a way to get Kyle Pitts. Like, maybe Kyle Pitts is just not get going. I think he's good, though. I think everybody thinks he's good. But I don't but know. can he get going is the real question. All right, here's your guy. George Pickens, plus 180. Atlanta allowed nine TDs to wide receiver ones in 2023, including a three TD game to DeAndre Hopkins. Pickens, unquestioned number one in Pittsburgh. Very little competition for targets. Pickens, a lethal downfield threat, which pairs well with with uh, Wilson's play style. I, I am a little bit worried about Pickens week one because of uh, A.J. Terrell, the Falcons cornerback. He's really good. If I had to lean this game, and it, the, the odds are going to be... I want to see what these odds are going to be because I think they're going to be pretty fucking high. I'm going to take a shot here. Here it is, here right, it is here. right here. I got it right here. So this is a long shot. Is his name even on the list? Jesus, is his name even on the list? His name's not even on the list here. Why is his name? Well, on it's the... up to 500, so you'd have to find it. Oh, it's, it's o- oh, well, you got to find it if it's deeper. I'll find it if it's deeper. I'll search him right now. So I'm going to take a shot. What I think Russ is going to excel at this year is play action. I think they're going to run the ball. With Who fucking... do you like? Can I get to the pick? <laughs> yeah, you can get to the pick. Russ thrives in play action. Russ thrives when there's play action. He's scrambling out of the boot. Still throws a great deep ball. I'm going to go with a sleeper here, and I'm going to go with a guy named Calvin Austin. This guy is the fastest guy on the football field at all times, unless they're probably playing the Dolphins, and it's Tyreek Hill He's or the Chiefs and Xavier Worthy. He is so fast. And I think Arthur Smith, Ooh. plus 650. 10 to 1. Plus a thousand. Ten to one anytime love touchdown it. score. Love it. I do. I love it. I, right. I love it. All right, Jerry. Listen, all all you need is one play action or one deep ball. I think the Steelers are gonna run the ball so much. The Falcons are gonna be uh, you know, have to have eight in the box, and then they're gonna eventually just get burned. And he's the fastest guy in the football field. He's he's the third wide receiver right now. Uh Roman Wilson has been hurt. So it's Pickens, Jefferson. Uh, Van Jefferson and Calvin Austin. He's going to be on the field a shit ton with Fryermuth, and I think I think the Steelers are going to break one for a deep one. I'm going to go Calvin Austin ten to one. All right, uh, crazy and then, odds. Wow. Yeah, ten to one for a starting wide receiver. Ten to one. Wow. So what is he? Wide receiver two. He's three, but when Roman Wilson gets back and healthy, he'll probably bump Calvin Austin. But for week one, he's on the field. Yeah, he's on the field. And, and, he, he, and he, he said you said plays a big playmaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. He's not a guy who's going to go out there and catch six passes, seven passes, eight passes. He's but he might get the one deep. He one. might get two two catches or three catches. All he right. might have one deep one. All right. And then the other stat to look at, B. John Robinson. The Steelers allowed a TD to opposing running back ones in nine of 17 mm. games last year, 10 total. Falcons' new OC comes from the Rams system where Kyron Williams had 15 TDs in 12 games. Uh, offense will run through Bijan. 100%. It should. Yeah, he's minus 110. Yeah, it so that's should. To take a look at. I'm going to take a long shot as well with you here, but I'm not going to go as deep because I didn't mm-hmm. be honest. I didn't know who Calvin Austin III was before we walked in this room. Wow. Uh, but watching preseason with you up at Saratoga, former team, maybe he gets a run. 
I'll still buy the hype on Cordero Patterson. Plus oh, wow. Yeah, I'll buy the hype. I'll wow. buy the hype on Cordero. I love that. Going against the Falcons. Yeah. You could just see that. You know what he I mean? He returns the ball, too? Yes, a little bit of like, a uh, yeah. little bit of that. I, I could see that. I like that little bit A little bit of chip on your shoulder. All right, so we go to my game, the last one. Minnesota mm-hmm. at New York Giants. Aaron Jones, plus 145. The Giants allowed the second most rushing touchdowns in the NFL last season, only off uh, by w- one off the lead. 24 rushing touchdowns in 17 games, allowed TDs to opposing running back one in 11 of 17 games last season. Aaron Jones, plus 145, seems like uh, as good as the Giants' defensive front yeah. is, you can still bam him, oh, jam for him sure. in. Plus, you have uh, Sam Darnold going for Minnesota. Yeah. You know, so you got to probably keep that, keep that ball on the ground. He is QB1, but keep that ball on the ground. Malik Neighbors plus 155. He's going to be special. Dominated camp. Bad quarterbacks focus on their best receiver. He'll dominate the target share in this. 100%. I'm playing Malik Neighbors. I like it. Just for as excited as he is. Yeah. You can see the Giants. He's on the cover of the post. They win the game. We're off and running 1-0. and That's crazy. I'm I going like with Malik it. Neighbors plus the 135. And then Devin Singletary plus 165. Singletary is the only running back with any experience in that backfield. He should be on every red zone and goal line snap for the Giants. I just don't love playing too many runs. So who's backs. your pick? Malik Neighbors. Okay, that's plus your pick. I like it. He's good. I think he's the I think he was the best wide receiver in the draft. I think he's better than Marvin Harrison. He's I, like I think it. he is. I he's don't know. looking like it. You know? All right. Uh anything else jumps out at week one? What are you looking at in terms of long shots, this, that, like whatever? Well, let's go through it. Do you want to go through every game? No, or? I mean we, Um, okay, let's just flip through the pages and see. If a name jumps off at you, like yeah. a final word, a final word. If it jumps, final off at word. You. Let's see here. I don't want to pick a game we picked already. Okay, let's. Now, see. are you? I know you well. You're not going to stick to these guys that you play. You're going to be jumping on some other stuff as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, I do. Yeah. I have a lot of action on Sundays, but I am going to. What we, what we play on the show, I'm going to make make it my business this year to bet everything. All right. But I will have other bets. Yeah. But. I definitely want to play yeah. l- everything we're doing. Get everybody. Uh, about, get involved. Tag us. Ooh, tweet at us. What about the rookie? Brian Thomas Jr. plus two eighty, not a bad play. Who's he not for? Not a play, bad play. Jaguars. Okay. Wide receiver. All right. Not a bad all play. All right. That's the one that jumps off the page. So all right, that's the first edition of House Call with Jerry and Terry. Tweet at us, tag us, show yes. us your touchdown celebrations, uh, reactions. What do you mean, show us your touchdown celebrations? Your, the guy scores. You're going fucking ballistic. That's how you got here. Oh, the the the. You're, the, you're peeing on I, the people that got listen, here. Listen, take a seat. The dish is nothing. I thought you meant. Film the players celebrating. No, no, oh, no. Okay. We don't want to see that. No, no. We see we see it on TV. <laughs> Watch it on the TV. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but definitely. Uh, we're gonna have our links all in the bio, uh, on our link tree. We'll have the Twitter page up. Yep. All of our clips will go out there. Voicemails next week. Yes. Voicemails. You stay. Yes. If you want to call and you're gonna give a, a winner, be prepared to call next week. Exactly. We're gonna be lean on you because if you disappear, we're gonna be pissed. Not only be pissed, you'll be banned from the show yeah. forever. Yeah. All right. The other thing we should touch on, how this whole thing kind of came about. Yeah. The parlay. We almost wrapped the show without giving the parlay. You realize that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Hot start. Hot start. Yeah, then we did the it's parlay. A, it's a survivor-type league. Uh, Dave's doing a bonus bet prize. You got to get a touchdown score and stay alive. Yes. Okay? I am going with a team that has some questions at wide receiver. I think they're going to win in a blowout. I'm giving you James Cook plus 100. That's my nice. first leg of the parlay. I think I like the it. Bills blow them out. I think the Bills keep the ball on the ground. Some wide receiver questions. Lost some guys. James Cook plus 100. What is your second leg of the parlay? Mine is going to be Saquon Barkley. Anytime touchdown so- score. I think it's minus 110 right now. He's minus 115 right 115. now. 115. Okay. I was off so by if five. So if we lock that parlay in, it's plus 273 right now for you people. Yeah. So All right. When We're going to share this, that. Lock it in. We're going to share that slip as well. My theory is this. Obviously, Saquon Barkley... On the Giants last year, doesn't get the deal. Philadelphia comes in, scoops him up, chip on his shoulder. Listen, I know Stephen Shea's the guy who shits on Barkley. Whatever, that's fine. Do I think he's the best running back in the league? I do not. But I feel like Philadelphia, he's going to thrive in that offense. They love to run the ball. He's great out of the backfield. They're going to use him inside the 10 nonstop between him and Hurts. I think he's going to do for a big year. I'm going to take him week one to score. Now, just a reminder, get this early because this yes. is a Friday game in Brazil. What yes. the fuck is going on in Brazil? Yeah, I don't know. Right? There's a lot of gangs in Brazil. They I don't know what they're doing. Hey, did you know you're not supposed to wear green at the stadium? Well, you that's get, good. Both teams st- are fucking green. Oh, my God. Yeah, wow. You get stabbed, they said. <laughs> He gets stabbed in Brazil. Also, Throw the game, NFL. Shout out, shout out Brazil real quick. Clancy's 2013. I used to get a lap dance from a stripper named Laura. Laura 
I just want to let you know I'm I'm happily <laughs> with a Colombian girl who I love very much, and I have a son, and I love them to death. Laura, you played me for a lot of dances. <laughs> you got fake titties. You went off to Brazil, and you never called me again. Laura. You were calling her? We exchanged numbers. Okay, I'll leave it at fair that. Enough, fair enough. I'll leave it enough. at that. All right, fair enough. But All right. she left me high and dry, never said a word. I seen her Instagram. She got her boobies done a couple <laughs> of years back, you know. But, hey, I'm in a great spot now. You are in a great I'm spot. I'm with a Colombian who I love, love, love As long love, as we remember to much. give out the parlay. Yes, we're going to give out. We gave it <laughs> we out. We almost didn't give out Yeah, we gave parlay. it out. We gave, we gave yeah, it exactly. out. We're all good. All right, so that's how it's going. Don't go to the Brazil game. No. Watch, watch Unless them all. you want to see Laura. Watch all the games. Get involved on DraftKings. We'll keep you updated how we're doing in the Survivor kind of uh, league. Uh, as we're going for this 50K, it's a big, big thing. We'll get it going. Uh, end zone crown. Tag us with everything. End zone crown. End zone with crown, all your yes. touchdowns. End zone crown. And the parlay should be up ASAP. I just bet it on DraftKings. You can follow us both on DraftKings. Yep. If you click in there, plus 273, James Cook and Saquon Barkley. That's the first edition of House Call with Terry and Jerry. Be back next week.